a radically new take on The Exorcist. This is what Mike Flanagan is now tasked with. He's going to be writing and directing the next Exorcist film for Blumhouse and Universal. I did a video, oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month or so ago now, where it was rumoured. It was essentially confirmed at that point, but now he's 100% confirmed. It's come out. They're revealing some information about it. So I thought we'd take a look and... Yeah, it's just interesting. I'm a horror man myself, you guys know that. So let's take a look. Blumhouse is... Well, essentially, they're overhauling the Exorcist franchise plans. Um, and now Mike Flanagan is directing the new movie. David Gordon Green is out. He is no longer Hollywood's It Man. He was for a while because he did the Halloween films. Which apparently was so incredible. They had to get him on board to do the Hellraiser TV series. They had to get him on board for The Exorcist. Cool. Well, it bombed, didn't it? You're not a good person to adapt things. You just, you just, it was terrible. Bad, bad decision. And the thing about the movie was, it was, it was just, it was poo. And you spent way too much money on it. Like Universal and Blumhouse spent somewhere in the region of four, like I think it's $400 million on the rights. Why did you spend that much money on the on the rights? What are you doing? Like any accountant would tell you that's retarded. It's so incredibly stupid. Incredibly dim. But no, that's what they did and they're steamrolling ahead. But now, like I said, they've got uh, Mike Flanagan on board. Which is a good get. He's a good get. He's a really good get, actually. I, I think, you know, he has a very good creative vision from the cinematography perspective. The writing is, is fairly nuanced with a Flanagan film. You know, he's done a lot of TV series for Netflix. I call them TV series, but you know what I mean. He's done series for Netflix, and they've been good. He is, he's got a good track record. So let's take a look. The Exorcist universe. The Exorcist universe. Uh, will continue to expand thanks to Doctor Sleep and the fall of the House of Usher visionary Mike Flanagan. So Flanagan has signed on to write, direct, and produce what's described as a radical new take on The Exorcist for Blumhouse and Morgan Creek. So, well, yeah, he basically gave out a quote, and it's a good quote. It says, The Exorcist is one of the reasons I became a filmmaker, and it is an honour to have the chance to try something fresh, bold, and terrifying within its universe. Reuniting with my friends at Blumhouse, with whom I've made some of my favourite pieces of work, only makes this more exciting. Cool, good, excellent, fine. You know, I never liked David Gordon Green when they announced him for The Exorcist. Believer. Oh, what garbage film that was. Absolutely terrible. This is someone that's huffed his own farts far too much, uh, drank his own Kool-Aid, with respect to the Halloween franchise, and now he's like, "Yeah, I can do whatever I want." No, you're terrible. You have some have some introspection, good sir. So Mike Flanagan, good, very very good get. And it says this: the new Exorcist movie will be produced by longtime collaborators Trevor Macy on behalf of Intrepid Pictures and Flanagan via his new Red Room Pictures banner. John Shura will also be working on the film on behalf of Intrepid, and the film marks the fourth collaboration for Flanagan and Blumhouse. He wrote and directed 2013's Oculus, which is... It's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. It's not exceptional. It's fine. It is a, it's a Blumhouse film. It's a Blumhouse film. I prefer Flanagan's work with Netflix, genuinely. His work with Netflix is great. Uh, 2016's Hush and 2016's Ouija Origin of Evil. Not great, not going to lie, those aren't great. But again, they're typical Blumhouse films, alright? They're kind of what you'd expect from Blumhouse. Not from Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanagan's work, again, I state and I stand by this, on Netflix, is very good. Anyway, to note, Flanagan's film is an all-new story, not a sequel. Out with the old, in with the new. Dave Gordon Green. You got nothing on Mike Flanagan. Terrible. But yeah, no, good, good. 
I knew that they would just cancel it all. You can't follow that up. You can't continue it. It was terrible. <sighs> so it's not a sequel to 2023's The Exorcist Believer, which is helmed by David Gordon Green. Green had planned to helm a trilogy of Exorcist movies with a sequel, The Exorcist Deceiver, scheduled to hit theatres in 2025. That fucked up, didn't it? But he exited the franchise. No, he got canned. Uh, in January after Believer grossed $137 million globally. Yet underperformed with critics. $137 million is fine. Not when you spend $400 million on the bloody rights. What are you doing? It's madness. It's either 400 or 300 It was insane figures. So here it says this. Uh, this is from Jason Blum. Mike's voice and vision are indispensable for horror fans. And we're excited to welcome him back to Blumhouse. I immediately responded to Mike's new take on the world of The Exorcist. I, uh, and can't wait for audiences to experience it. So Morgan Creek chairman David Robinson said, It's an honour to be working with Mike. I think his vision for this franchise is going to stun audiences worldwide. And I could not be more excited to be working with him. Trevor, Jason and the entire Blumhouse team. Flanagan and Macy, as well as Intrepid and Red Room, respectively, are represented by WME. Flanagan is also represented by Van der Kloot Law. And Macy is rep by Reader and Feig. I mean, look, where, where can they go with this? What, what's going to be interesting about this? I don't know. Again, you know what? Flanagan's good. He's earned, with his Netflix stuff, not his Blumhouse stuff, with his Netflix stuff, he's earned an air of the benefit of the doubt. You know, I like his stuff. I think he's good. Generally, like he's not perfect. There are some things which are just not great at all. But he's done some really decent stuff on a whole. And I'm more excited than I am, like, ooh, anxious. I'm like, yeah, this is good. So what do you guys think? And also, it's just so funny, David Gordon Green. Like, mate, no, go away. You're not, you're not. You're not the second coming of horror Christ. You're not good. At all. So let me know what you think down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you a Mike Flanagan fan? Do you like his films? Do you like his Netflix stuff? I'd love to hear it. So drop it all down below. If you are new here, do hit subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on. And please do check your subscribe because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to help me make more because uh, YouTube loves to demonetize certain content, then please do become a Patreon, which you can do via the first link in the description box for as little as $2 a month. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.